Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I made these delicious baby back ribs to bring on our trip to Cudjo Key, Florida. Today we're going to be cooking some baby back ribs to take on our trip. We are going to be going down to Cujo Key. Hopefully do some fishing if the weather's good. I'm going to spend about four days total down there. So we're going to do a little prepping so we don't have to cook as much when we're down there. I figured I would show you guys how I prepared. Some baby back ribs. I picked these up from Costco and pretty nice. It looks like they already, already took the membrane off of this one at least. Some of these we're going to use a little Tuscan seasoning. Really good on the ribs. There's a pretty high salt content in it, so you don't have to really super cover on it. Get enough on there. These last two I'm gonna do a little bit different. I'm going to use Ranchero on one. Last one I'm going to season like a brisket. So salt, pepper, garlic. A little Jacobson's kosher salt. Garlic powder. Yoder fired up. We'll see you out there. Little tip to get your uh, make sure your trash doesn't smell too bad if you're a ways away from trash day. Put it in one gallon Ziploc, throw it in the freezer, and then just throw it out on trash day. Let's get these on here. Here is the salt, pepper, garlic one. Sorry, the lighting's not too great out here. We're gonna cook this one for dinner tonight. This is the ranchero seasoning one. This one's also gonna be for dinner tonight. And these are the ones we're gonna take to the Keys. It's got, this one's gonna be a little bit spicy, has a little bit more red pepper flavor on it. We're gonna cook these, probably till they're about 90% done, maybe 80% done. All right guys, so we've got them all on the grill. The ones we put on top, we're gonna uh, eat tonight for dinner. And then the ones on the bottom, we're gonna cook probably till about 80% and then uh, we'll throw them in the refrigerator overnight, get them chilled, and then I'll vacuum seal them all, and then they'll be ready to go for a nice easy meal when we get down to the Keys. Like I said, we're gonna be spending probably about four days in Cujo Key, hopefully the weather's good, and we'll show you guys a little bit of fishing down there, maybe some carbon fishing. Not really sure what we're gonna get into, it just depends on um, what the weather's like. So hopefully uh, we have some good weather. It's gonna be the weekend before Thanksgiving until Thanksgiving day, we're gonna come back to, to Sarasota here, so. 
So right now it's about 220, 220 degrees. So we'll do this for, I don't know, probably two and a half hours or so. And then we'll bump the temperature up when we go to wrap them. This is the one that uh, I'm doing kind of like a brisket, so I'm not gonna put barbecue sauce on it right now. We'll see how it comes out, and then we'll we may put some barbecue sauce on it later. A little bit extra water in there. Okay, so here are the ones that we're gonna to take to the Keys with us. They're like 150, 165, which is about normally when we would wrap them. So, 150, 170, so they're, and they're feeling super tender. So these ones I think are done enough. I'm just gonna sauce them, let them cool, put them in the refrigerator and then uh, once we get to the keys, we'll we'll finish cooking them down there.
35 minutes later, let's see what we got. A little bit more barbecue sauce and then let them rest for about 10 or 15 minutes before slicing into it. Nice smoke ring on there. so good not pull off the bone but super tender probably just the right way it's supposed to be cooked a little bit of chew really good mm. all right everybody i really do appreciate you tuning in we are going to vacuum seal up the chilled ribs that we're going to bring to Kudjo Key. If anybody's been to Kudjo Key and has any suggestions on anything to do or where to go or maybe even any fishing areas, if you're a fisherman, we really would appreciate it if you leave it in the comments. Make sure you click that like button. It really does help. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the ribs. When you vacuum seal them, I always put two seals in it, especially if we're going to sous vide them later. It does help. Until next time, thanks for watching.